You ain't got nothing. Nothing. All right, we're going from there. How about let's give it up for the world famous Ocean of Soul? Give it up for him. Boy, that just gets you ready for football. I don't know what it is. Oh, you're not ready enough to probably play football. Well, welcome, everyone, to the HP Arena. I am the radio voice of the Texas Southern Tide and Matthew Chow Fox Hill. Thank you so much for coming out to this very momentous occasion. And now we're here for my president, our leader, 12th president, Dr. Austin May. Give it up for him. Thank you so much. I know we have the Tiger faithful out there. If you're here, all of our alums that are in the audience, our athletes that played here, we want to welcome you back home. Much of what this ceremony will feel, hopefully, to you is that we are focused on home. Uh, this hire for us, uh, we took into consideration thousands of emails. When I say there was interest in this position, there was interest from all over the country. It made me proud uh, to have that much interest in our football program. Interest from alums, we had interest from folks in other teams, whether it was college or NFL teams. And so what we wanted to do, though, was focus on home. And you're going to hear from our new head coach, who knows about home, because he's one of our own. He's from right here. Let's give him a big round of applause. He's from right now. Yeah, we are. And I tell you that he understands home, meaning that he understands recruiting. And I know that firsthand. I'll give you a story about that after we get off stage, not to bore you. But he knows about recruiting. He knows about talent. He knows about how student athletes have to compete at this level. Uh, he is a monster recruiter. Uh, when you talk to Kevin Sumlin, who I know Mark shared with me some really good comments today from Fox, about the comments that Kevin Sumlin had about him blew me away. I already knew he was good, but to hear those comments just blew me away. So we were looking for a person who could recruit. We were looking for a person, most importantly, who could connect, not only with our student athletes, but could connect with our fans, with our alums, with our previous players. I can't tell you how many emails and notes that I received from our players who used to play here that just want to be connected to the program. We want you connected. We want you to support him uh, as he goes on this journey with us here. So I'm just excited. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I've known uh, Clarence for a couple of years now. And uh, when I tell you it's hard to get him back home, he, he could have been anywhere. He could have still been out in Arizona. But he wanted to be here. We were also looking for that. We wanted a coach that wanted to be here with the maroon and gray and be a tiger. It means a lot to him because this is his backyard. So I just want to thank my athletic director. We give him a big round of applause. Kevin Hallboard. I told him I apologize. I said, you know, Kevin, we announced you as the athletic director, even though his name is hanging in the gym over here. You see, Man, oh, he's got his name, his number is retired. I don't think we bought out the Ocean of Soul for you, though, did we? So, so Clarence, you got one up on him already. We've got the Ocean of Soul right here bringing, bringing our new football coach out. It's important to have the Ocean to brag just a bit. The Ocean uh, is like, our, I guess, our 12th man, right? So the Ocean for us uh, is always there. It's always inspiring, not only our student athletes, but our fans. And when I tell you that we're a program and what we expect to win, we expect to win. That's why we moved as fast as we did. Some of you think that we just woke up and decided on Clarence McKinney. We, we, we're always evaluating. We're always evaluating and we want to win. So this decision actually may seem quick, but it's been a long time in the making because we really knew we had to assess where the program was immediately and take some action. Right, so we're excited. I appreciate the work that Kevin has done. He and I have spent a lot of hours together. Right? We've spent a lot of hours together, a lot of text messages and a lot of phone calls. Uh, but he's always up. And Clarence will tell you, we, we've been talking a lot together over the last uh, couple of, actually a couple of months. Uh, so with that being said, I want to definitely uh, let our athletic director come up and say a few words and also thank his staff. So let's give a big round of applause for Kevin Ramey. Good afternoon. Oh, you are a little too quiet in here for us to have this kind of announcement. I need you all to get a little bit louder and a little more excited about what we are doing here in athletics. Thank you. Thank you. If you look at athletics over the course of the last two 
two weeks, there's been a lot of positive things going on. Let me first thank, thank my president, because without his support, President Lane, we couldn't get it on these type of coaches to come to Texas up. So thank you for believing in athletics and supporting athletics. Gotta have a president that does that. Now, as we started on this journey, I was able to meet with Coach, me and Coach Mitchell. And I'm hitting Coach with all kind of bones. I'm using everything in my arm. You know, I like this. I scored a lot of points when I was here, so I'm throwing everything possible at Coach. Coach said, man, throwing everything at me, but the kids you see. He said, where are you, where are you trying to get the commitment? Right. I said, Coach, I need your decision today. He said, Kevin, I ain't even talking to my wife, my kids, Shannon, my agent. I said, okay, Coach, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to get something to drink. Gotta give you a few minutes to call everybody. We want, that's how fast we want to move. See, when you get somebody that you are confident in, that can really do great things at your university, you move. Said something there. So let me say it again then. Said something. When you get somebody that you feel that can move your university forward, you move fast. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to move fast. We had our guy, and as President Knight said, we had numerous and numerous of interests. We had so many people, still to this day, still been receiving texts and emails and things of like that nature from people who wanted to apply for this job. Texas Southern is now a place where people are looking forward to coming to. Also, when we get the story, I mean, also when me and Coach Stalin um, told me some information, he said, Kevin, uh, when I was young, I came out on my porch and I listened to that ocean every night. I said, uh oh, got some on you. Got some on you. If you jam to that ocean every night, that means you all ready for me to get the titles. And what's going on over here? Then he said, Kevin, the first meaningful game that I played was at halftime of a Texas Southern game. I said, oh, oh. <laughs> well, you give me a lot of information. Found a piece of information that led me to really believe that we had a solid chance in getting Coach on board. He said, Kevin, my daughter now is an assistant basketball coach at East Mississippi Community College. Now, for you, all of you all who don't know East Mississippi Community College, Man, I'm saying, but I got to make sure we, you know, you finish the deal off. Anything 
Career Development and Advancement of Texas Southern University Athletic Program. Without a doubt, all the coaches going forward will have to be about Texas Southern University Athletic Program. If you're not about Texas Southern and doing right and advancing Texas Southern, Mr. Jimson coming in. Thank you, Mr. Jimson. So Mr. Jimson coming in, and when you know Mr. Jimson, what he can bring in, he bring that for his chicken. That's how we welcome everybody to Texas Southern University. We welcome you when you get that for his chicken, chicken. It's official. You are official title when you get that. We are so excited about the hire. Let's get behind our football program. Let's show support. Stephon has information about season tickets. Let's flood it. Let's get out of you all. Let's, let's support. Coach going to make a change. He already told me that. He my first high, so I already told him he's going to have to do that. We ever locked to each other now. The very first match. So if I, I'm going to go. We can't go to bed on the very first one out of the door. But he already told me. I ain't got to worry about that. I give great pleasure and honor if you all will stand up and let's welcome you're here, it's your, it's your job, or, or has it hit you? Oh, it hit me this morning when I got in front of that team and I had to explain you know, the new way of, of doing things around here. You know, we, uh, spoke to the team about 7 this morning, and 8 o'clock this morning I was on the phone making the group calls trying to get some players in so, Yeah, it, it hit me this morning. Clarence, as you evaluate, you've had a chance to meet the team. Have you had a chance to evaluate where the strengths and weaknesses are at this point? I have not. I have not. I told the kids everyone has a clean slate. We're going to open up every position for the competition, and we're going to put the best guys on the field. Whoever, whoever wins up that position, that's who we're going to play. I don't care if it's a freshman or if it's a senior. We're going to put the best product on the field. Coach, can you talk about some of the first things you want to do? I know there's a lot, like recruiting and evaluating talent. But is it getting your staff? Do you have some idea about um, how you may fill that out? What do you do first? Uh, I wish I knew. You know, uh, I plan on uh, hiring some guys to get me in and help me recruit. And, but 
at the same time, I can't wait for that process to, to get started. I gotta go out and get us some players. So I think I'll be recruiting and hiring at the same time. <laughs> Coach, uh, Dr. Lane had the good fortune of meeting with Dr. Simmons from Purdue uh, about a week or so ago at a defender event, and she would not let him live down that Purdue dropped 60 on them a couple of weeks ago. And I understand Dr. Lane assured her that that was the last time that Purdue was going to ever drop 60 on TNT. Would you like to speak to that? That was not my team. <laughs> My team gives up 60, we'll be scoring 61. Coach, can you go out and talk about Texas Southern, the great tradition and history here? What are some of the things that you will tell people you're trying to get to come to TSU about why this is a place to come? Well, just look at the third year of Marshall Law School, the great traditions here at Texas Southern, which if I'm not mistaken, started at, where did it start? Across the street against our house. Uh, yeah. You know, just the tradition and, and the many people that came out of this institution that are successful and, and can help individuals uh, when they're done playing football. You know, football ends for everyone at some point. And what, what better place and, and what better city and to start your career after football. You know, with the city of Houston, Texas Southern University educating you, and allowing uh, those young men to have uh, great opportunities to, to be productive citizens after football. Coach, with all your recruiting, I've seen you at the stadium, very familiar with the Houston area and the town from the Houston area, not just the five, four, three, two stars, but the, right. the hidden town. You, how do you plan on getting out there and, and, and seeing those guys that might become tired? Well, the thing that's helped me in recruiting, I've, I've been recruiting you for 11 years now. The thing that's helped me in recruiting is that I'm a Texas, Texas high school football coach. And I have a, a tremendous amount of friends that are head coaches, assistant coaches. And I trust those guys and they trust me. So it's nothing for one of my friends. Uh, coaching fraternity brothers, brothers to call me about a kid, and they trust that I'll evaluate them and give them an honest opinion about the kid. Uh, so, I, I, recruiting is about building trust and building relationships, and I think I've done that over the years. Which fraternity? The high school football coaches. <laughs> Texas high school football coaches. Thank you.